Hey everyone, so today is, I don't know, my watch doesn't have the date, no, it's um, January the 30th of uh, 2020, and I just got done eating a really nice uh, breakfast. Um, I just had the Denver omelet, didn't have any burgers or anything, so I wanted breakfast and coffee um, at Paradise Valley Cafe, which is at mile 152. Doing a little bit of a shakedown, conditioning hike, I'm planning on going about 10 miles south from mile 152 actually it's less than that mile 152 to about 145 where there's a little library and stuff something around the road right now this is a 74 so i gotta do about a mile of road walking my understanding is that there is a trail somewhere over there that it's a shortcut but i don't know where it's at so i gotta just hike okay so i've been traveling about a mile still on the 74 can't see Paradise Valley Cafe, it's been about a mile or so. Uh, and here is the entrance. The other entrance going uh, toward um, Idlewild is, is right there, there's a road. Actually turns into a trail, but here, I don't see a PCT sign anywhere on, on this, but, um, But, let me try and get this close, with one hand. But there's that Pacific Crest Trail, Table Mountain Road, four and a quarter miles, uh, Turwilliger Valley 10, Coyote Canyon Road 11, Indian Flats Campground 31. Bikes are not permitted within the San Jacinto Wilderness or on the Pacific Crest Trail. So, a couple of things right off. One thing that I've known the last few shakedowns that I've done is this pack of the Osprey, the old Osprey Exos 48. It has to go. Um, uh, there's San Jacinto up there. And uh, it's up there somewhere. There you go. San Jacinto. So there's plenty of snow up there. Probably in the higher elevations. And um, so yeah, the Exos 48, I think it's because the way I got measured about three or four years ago when I got this pack, I've been using it and I didn't realize that it was hurting my upper glutes unless I have it strapped all the way up. Because this is actually um, a medium between 18 and 21 and I measured just the other day at 17 and three quarters which can create a little bit of a problem right in that cusp area. So I have to have the, uh, all the straps super tight for it to be off my glutes and I can't really have that. So I'm gonna have to change this out. I wish that Osprey would make something where they can move uh, by Velcro up and down. The HMG, um, HMG something or other, no, HMG uh, 3400, regardless of which model it is, um, in a medium fits me just right. And it feels very good. There's a new one out by Six Moon Designs that I tried the other day at Nomad Adventures. Um, and it's called the Minimalist. It was invented by some guy that had uh, back cancer many years ago. And uh, I really love that. It's made by aerobic material, which I'm not sure what that is. It weighs two pounds, four ounces. And that one does adjust with the Velcros. And, uh, and it feels really good. I mean, I had no concern whatsoever with that pack. It felt, I, it was a toss up between that and the HMG. Only thing about the HMG is that it's about four ounces lighter and HMG is 55 liters. This one's at 54 liters, so it's about the same. It has a lot more pockets and stuff on this uh, Minimalist by SMD and I really like it. So I'm thinking about getting one of the two. We'll see, okay, don't wanna make this too long, but here's part of the trail and I also gotta look out for whatever critters are yeah. out there. It's pretty good, nice climb. 
even, steady, nothing torturous, but uh, I have exactly 30 pounds in my pack, two liters of water, four days of food, no, excuse me, two and three quarters liters of water, four days of food, uh, and I have uh, 20,000 uh, milliamp or whatever it's called, um, anchor, which weighs kind of heavy. And I also have my in-range, all that included, right at 30 pounds with the XO's 48. Finally made it to the top. Uh, I can't tell you exactly where I, how many miles I hiked, probably, I'm guessing about two miles, maybe. Um, I can now start going downhill through that. Uh, I'm sure I can put it this way so that the sun doesn't bother too much. There's some houses and whatnot over there, probably Anza, down toward the right. But here I go. I can still, I still have a view of San Jacinto way over there. Um, did that a couple of times already. And uh, last year, um, last year we did a six pack of peaks in Southern California and uh, hikes in between to prepare for those, which does uh, give you a little bit more endurance, even though you do lose your hike legs if you don't hike all the time. I'm guessing I'm at, I'm at about mile one, probably 48 or 49, somewhere in there. I haven't really checked. But somebody's handiwork there. Hey, somebody's in love with the other trail. That's cool. I've come down from up there. Hey guys, uh, here. check out this beautiful cliff. I'm not gonna get too close to it, but look at that. It's just, it just popped out. I mean, I was just making this turn here. And it just came out. It is absolutely gorgeous. Man, look at that. It is so cool. There's something about this trail that's just, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Anyway, I don't want to keep making this video too long. Um, but yeah, whoa, I was in like a, a tunnel of stuff in there for a while and out, out of nowhere comes this beautiful cliff. Oh man, look at that. It's just beautiful. Keep going, make it to the top there. I just don't want to see any mountain lions, to be honest with you. I'd rather see them on TV, if at all. It's fun, funny, because when I went to high school, I graduated from El Camino Wild. High school in Oceanside, and that was El Camino Wildcats. And a mountain lion was a logo. <clears throat> That's about the only thing I want to see on a mountain lion. And then Escondido High School, their logo is cougars. Crap. <sighs> Being by an area that high schools are like rabbits or bunny rabbits or um, puffy sheep, something like that. I'm coming around and I see that the switchbacks and there's a canyon down there. Uh, I'm gonna have to put that phone away right now because I gotta use my trekking poles, but um, yeah, according to the gut hooks, it goes down about 500 feet, then it climbs back up around 500 feet. And only after it, cl after it uh, climbs up do I get to uh, Mary's place, so I got a little ways to go. Probably gonna eat a few uh, almonds just to get a little nutrition and then keep going. <clears throat> Here's the trail. It looks like uh, getting to that little part that goes up. Uh, it looks like a pretty steady climb, but uh, 
I'm gonna get up and climb the Emerson's that canyon. So I just went down, kind of like there, and somehow I'm there, and I can't see it very well, but it goes down and onto a canyon. It's actually that canyon, but it's way down there. And I've been climbing out of it, climbing out of it, and I don't know if I gotta do another zigzag, probably, because I see it to my right, I see it a little higher. Um, but yeah, I mean, this little last climb that I thought was gonna be kind of hard was not really hard at all. It was just a, a little climb. So, yep, it keeps climbing. <laughs> so, this is, I'm going Sobo, uh, but that's the first uh, PCT sign that I've seen going that way. And there's a little dirt road here, so I gotta check out gut hooks and find out where the trail goes. Um, I don't see anything for the most part. Dirt road, dirt road. I, I suspect where this thing over here is at, but I gotta make sure before I start walking the wrong way and end up lost. Or lost to the point that I'm tired before I find where I'm going. Let me see, hopefully on this side there's a PCT sign sign there that's gone and there's yellow I'm guessing this is it but I'm gonna check out <laughs> so I'm coming into this area here and I think I've been hiking right around um, I don't know I, I didn't really check the time when I left three and a half hours maybe four it's uh, 1 29 in the afternoon when I come to this area that has a fence this is white uh, stick there it has like a little fence up on top and right here 2020 vision oh that's so cool um, 2020 vision I believe the trail goes through here but I think we see state park property, all the wildlife and plants protected. Something up there. Um, okay, 2020 vision. Here's another sign 2020 vision. Boundary, state park boundary. That's what it says over there. And right here it says. Um, oh, look at this. 2020 vision, 1454. And I'm thinking that that's the address, but I don't know. There's a nice little bush there. On that side. Um, this is, I think this is Mary's place. Matter of fact, yeah, 20. 20 vision. Oh, nice. Are really super thoughtful. Um, so I'm gonna take a break here. Might even sleep here. So I'm gonna to sleep here. And then, uh, so, uh, PCT 145. Um, uh, look at this. This uh, three people here. The one in the middle looks like a uh, John Muir, but let me see. This one here, Walt Whitman from Leaves of Grass. It says, I bequeath myself to the dirt to grow from the grass I love. If you want me again, look for me under your boot soles. Failing to fetch me at first, keep encouraged. Missing me one place, search another. I stop somewhere waiting for you. Walt Whitman from Leaves of Grass. Then over here is uh, John Muir from the mountains of California. Go where you may within the mountain, the bounds of California. Mountains are ever in sight, charming and glorifying ever every landscape. And over there is uh, Henry David Thoreau from Walden. I went to the woods because I wished to live deliberately. 
to front only the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach and not when I came to die discover that I had not lived. That was a wise man. Oh, I guess all three of them were. Ow! Oh! Hard to get up with a 30 pound pack. Oh, look at this. Little free library. I'm gonna books you don't need in a place you can't find. So I'm gonna open some up and just sit and read for a little bit. I'm probably gonna have a snack. If this is Mary's place, which I'm pretty sure it is, I wish she would come and uh, so I can talk to her and just say hi and thank her for what she does. Okay, I'm gonna kick back. There's this um, tank. And hopefully, there's water. Thank God, there is water. Thank you, Mrs. Mary. Oh man, that is so cool. I'm gonna make sure that I close it before I spill any. I don't want to spill any. So here I am still at uh, Mary's place. I decided that I was gonna go ahead and stay here tonight and um, go back to Highway 74 and either have a Jose burger and then go this home. This is the Sooner Lunar Solo. Um, I have a mess inside. There's a little bees trying to get inside, but they're not going to get inside. I don't know if you can see that. There's that sleeping bag, a backpack, uh, just a bunch of stuff for the night. And there's my uh, pillow. I'm probably going to sleep with the uh, Vestibule open, only the mesh shut down. That's the plan anyway. I already read a couple of those little poems and stuff there. It's really cool and I put them back. I took one, the one that says, uh, um, one of these says, um, Itaki, Itaka by C.P. Kavefi, suitable for ultralight hikers. I went ahead, it's just one page. I took one just to read it. Um, so it has these four poles here around these picnic tables and what I did is I got I brought some paracord I could have used the cord from the bear bag but I took a paracord I tied a bowl in there and I took a trucker's hitch over there and I made this line here and that's where I'm going to hang my food bag for the night um, mountain lion or probably coyote can I'm sure reach it but I'm not too concerned about that I'm more concerned about uh, rodents and I don't believe that they're gonna get it. So in a little bit, here's my, some snacks. Um, these here are kind of high in um, carbs and, uh, but I might have one tomorrow morning before I take off. Uh, my water bottle, I have my cook kit in here, food. Um, charged up my phone, I gotta charge it again probably. Anchor battery, my inReach, that I have a message there probably from Olive Oil. Hi Olive Oil. I'll check your message right now. I think it's you. I don't know. It could be somebody else. Like our son. That's the only people that will have the information and know that I'm out here. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have some water that I still have from Mary's tank. But I'm going to use that tomorrow morning. Filter it and uh, use it for breakfast. I have two liters still in there my bag. This Vargo 900 here has a, that's a cup right there. It's marked 300. So I put it uh, a little under 300 because one cup is 240 milliliters. Um, and ouch. There's my tea, coffee, sugar or sweetener. Chamomile, mmm, nice and warm, good. Pocket Rocket 2, I couldn't find a small one of these things. This thing weighs over 13 ounces, and I wanted a smaller one, but I didn't. Right.
dehydrated uh, ground beef, dehydrated kale, onion, tomatoes, um, some uh, Cajun spice that I made, salsa, a little bit of, uh, I believe I put some dried milk in there, but I'm not sure. Cozy. Thanks, Darwin, for the tip. One cup that lasted probably, I don't know, you guys can count, I didn't edit that part. Put this back on top of my... I like this. I want to call it a luxury item, fine. I don't know, maybe it is. It's just one cup. I'll leave it in there about 10 minutes. Close it and zip it up. Hi, so, um, right now it's about 5.30 or so. It's gonna be six o'clock in the evening. And I ate dinner, cleaned up, came into tent just to rest. A lot of times after work, I <clears throat> go home, take a little break, and sometimes take a nap before I go off and do something else. And um, so today's hike was, it was interesting. I thought it was going to be a lot more... Um, even um, from the highway 74 mile 151 or 52 um, <clears throat> it was only about a seven mile hike oops sorry it was only about a seven mile hike and um, but the beginning and it climbed a little bit then it evened up and then it went down into that canyon and then it went out of the canyon, and then it went into another um, down hill. And right now I'm at Mary's place. Um, mile 145 and something. Um, so it was a little more strenuous than I thought it was, so it's good training. Um, <clears throat> if I were to go to Warner Springs right now, it would... Uh, be probably easier than going back because I would just hike like maybe 15 miles but it's just level or downhill all the way to Warner Springs probably do it in two days two more days so a total of three days maybe three days on the fourth day in the morning um, I do have enough food but I'll be skipping on food and I'm not sure where the water supply is at so it is a training hike so I'm gonna go ahead and go back tomorrow I'm thinking about going home or maybe staying out another night but uh, I, I don't know. It all depends. I'll see. But it, um, I'm, I'm warm right now. Um, I'm sleeping with... Let me turn this around. Okay, so that's the top of my tent where the trekking pole goes up in there. I'm using the X-Ped as uh, part of my... Uh, as my pillow and then I'm using my puffy as another part of the pillow so um, this is my view um, the sun is setting right now <clears throat> and uh, so yeah I'm gonna leave the that vestibule open so I can see the stars at night that vestibule over here will close. It stays close. Well, I can open it, but there's no point in... I don't think there's any point in opening it. Anyway, I'm going to rest and with my eyes closed, hopefully... I know I'm going to wake up. If I go to sleep early, 
I know I'm gonna wake up around one in the morning and toss and turn all night long. But that's just the way it is. Okay, everybody, have a good night. Just about finished with breakfast. I already had uh, where was rancheros, and I made some note meal, which is in there right now. Uh, warming up for a little bit more coffee. We have two cups of coffee, and we have a third. <laughs> Got my meal ready, watered, filtered, some degree. Uh oh, better turn it off. And my beloved pot holder. Or pot grabber, whatever the heck it's called. Okay, so that coffee is just, that water is just so I can eat my note meal. Just so I can eat my note meal because um, it is, um, it just had a little bit of coffee on the bottom of it. That's just leftovers coffee.